Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are gonna rank health gurus. There's plenty of them I have on this list. We have Dr. Mike, we have Wim Hof, we have Matt Walker, we have the Healthy Gamer GG, we have David Sinclair, we have Nutrition Made Simple, his name is Gil. We have Jeff Nippard, which I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this guy on S. This guy's an S, S tier. Uh, then we have Brad Steinfeld, we have Z Dog MD, Rhonda Patrick, Andrew Huberman, Peter Atia, Dr. Berg, and Dr. Eckberg. So basically, what we're doing is we're ranking these guys in terms of how well they are in terms of the health and wellness community and the information that they provide, and you know if it's reliable, if it's you know backed up by evidence and all that kind of stuff. So S tier is obviously the top, and then we have A tier, B tier, all the way down to F. F is the worst, clearly. All right, for first one, randomly, let's just pick, here we go, this guy, Matt Walker, sleep diplomat. This guy provides really, really good information. I would say he's kind of one of the top ones. He's a good guy to listen to in terms of sleep quality. I would put him at A. Only reason I wouldn't put him at S is he's not that interesting to continuously listen to, but the information he's giving is very, very beneficial. So we'll put him at the A tier. All right, so now let's pick someone else. Let's go with Nutrition Made Simple. This guy right here, Gil. Really, really good channel. It focuses on nutrition and you know healthy lifestyle. Mostly focuses on vegan and kind of how that has a benefit on people. Heart disease is a big topic on his channel, especially like statins and high cholesterol, stuff like that. Very, very good channel. He backs up every video with a lot of evidence, a lot of research papers. And he's just really, really good in my opinion. I think he's very, very beneficial. A lot of people can learn a lot from him. He has a little bit of a funny side to him. It kind of makes it a little more interesting. A 20 minute long videos, but they're very, very engaging, really, really well done and just provides a lot of evidence. This guy, in my opinion, is 100% S tier. Really, really good channel. I suggest you check it out. Nutrition made simple. All right, so the next guy we're gonna go with is Dr. Mike. Now, this guy is obviously more of a influencer, not really a health guru per se with what he gives in terms of his information. I would say he does provide good medical advice, although it's very, very cookie cutter. It's very, very simplified. And his channel is mainly for entertainment, not necessarily, you know, really providing medical information. He does it in like a lighthearted, fun way. So for that, I'm gonna put him in the B tier. I think that's good enough for this guy. Again, the information is quality. He does give good medical advice, but it's just not really a channel meant to kind of further your health and wellness goals. Next we're gonna go with is Wim Hof. Now this guy is all about breathing, meditation, and cold exposure. I don't know if you've seen the Yes Theory documentary on this guy, how they go and they kind of go through cold plunges and breathing exercises with him, and it kind of guides him through his program. It's very interesting, it's a very good video. His approach is very unique. It's all about cold exposure. Also, it's very, very specific as to what he's talking about. But this guy I would also put as B tier. Next we'll go with Dr. Berg, the chiropractor. Now, normally I would put this guy at an F. He's probably helped a lot of people with his keto channel and his keto videos. He's done a lot of things that are beneficial for people to lose weight in general. I would put him in the D category because people have probably lost a lot of weight listening to his channel and tuning into his channel and you know, just listening to what he has to say. But the information he provides long-term is not really backed up by any evidence or any research papers or any large research studies. So I wouldn't really take what he says you know, to heart. He does have benefits for losing weight because that's what the keto diet can do. It can help people lose weight but I wouldn't necessarily listen to him long-term after losing weight and for high cholesterol or you know cardiovascular disease risk factors. I wouldn't really listen to what he has to say. So we'll put him at the D tier just because he's helped a lot of people lose weight probably. The next guy is Peter Atia. Now, this guy is all about longevity. He's a physician that really specializes in longevity. 100% this guy is S tier. This guy knows his stuff. He knows what he's talking about. He's very, very good at what he's saying. Now, some of the way he explains it might be a little bit confusing. He does try to dumb it down for people, but I can see how some some people can get lost with what he's saying because he goes into so much detail, maybe a little bit too much detail. You should try to focus on maybe trying to dumbing it down a little bit. I think he'll gain a much wider audience. But in terms of what he says and his research and his evidence backed up um, claims, very, very beneficial. A lot of things. He's probably the god of longevity. He really knows what he's talking about. His entire focus is based on anti-aging and longevity. I will listen to him if your focus is on longevity. Now, the next guy we're going to go with is Brad Steinfeld. I don't know what this photo is. It looks very, very photoshopped and Botox. I don't know. It very, looks very strange, but whatever. This guy is, again, another channel based off of longevity. He's a physician, but again, he does a really good job of going over studies and kind of explaining his reasoning as to why he does or does not take a supplement. I think he also has a really good channel. It's growing very rapidly. 
separately. I like it. I tune into it. I think it's really, really good. So for him, I would put him in A tier because he does provide a lot of benefits and he's a good person to look to for longevity. I just don't think he's at the same tier as Peter Atia. So we'll put him one lower. Next, Rhonda Patrick. This woman is also very, very beneficial when it comes to nutrition and, you know, cardiovascular health and stuff like that. She's one of the first ones that did start this podcast thing with health and wellness. I'm going to put her in the A tier. She's also very, very beneficial, but again, not at the level of Peter Atia, Nutrition Made Simple, or even Jeff Nippert. Now, Jeff Nippert, I put in the S tier automatically right off the bat because I think he's one of the best for weightlifting and kind of those kind of goals to see what kind of workout is best for hypertrophy, which is muscle gaining or losing weight or, you know, whatever kind of goal you have in terms of weight loss, this is the guy to go to. I think he's one of the best, Jeff Nippert. All right, next, Huberman, the god himself that everyone loves this guy. I love this guy. I think he's really, really good. He provides a lot of information, a lot of good things. His focus is mostly on behavioral changes, so not really taking any supplements or things like that. I think this guy is at the same tier as Peter Atia. I would put him in the S tier. Very, very beneficial. Huge, long, very detailed podcast that go over a lot of things. If you don't know who Andrew Huberman is, you're probably living under a rock. Very, very beneficial. Next, we'll go to Stan Ekberg, another chiropractor who heavily focuses on keto diet and those kind of things. He's very similar to Dr. Berg. We're going to put this guy at F. Just from what I've seen his videos, I don't know what he's talking about. He doesn't really back anything up with science. There's no evidence. There's no anything. They're very, very small studies or he's misreading them. He's not understanding them. Most of what he's saying doesn't really add up to long-term cardiovascular health disease risks. I'll look more into it, but for now, this guy is an F tier just for me because I don't really see any benefit to his channel. If you want something to do with keto, then go to a nice dietitian who'll teach you everything there is about keto. Maybe even Dr. Burke probably has better videos about keto. But in terms of high cholesterol, cardiovascular risk, and stuff like that, I would not go to this guy at all. Next, we have Z Dog MD. Now, this guy is similar to Dr. Mike in that his channel is mostly focused on parody or kind of entertainment. He does provide good medical advice, he's pretty good at it. I would put him in the same tier as Dr. Mike because he's a very similar person, very similar channel. He does have more information medically than Dr. Mike on his channel. So you can go to his channel for a lot more medical advice, but in general, it's a very similar channel to Dr. Mike. You just kind of pick which one you like more. Next, we have David Sinclair, who's the self-proclaimed god of longevity. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen the David Sinclair uh, podcast that he had with some other guy, he had another host on it. It was like six episodes or something. They each were like an hour and a half or something like that. It felt like he was saying the same thing every single episode it was just like a repeat he just kept saying the same thing about sirtuins and longevity and rat studies and this and that and nmn and nr and iv versus it was the same thing over and over again also he's trying to ban nmn from the market because he wants to make it a pharmaceutical drug so that he can profit off of it i'm sure he's a very good researcher i'm sure he has good intentions with longevity but in general i will put this guy as c tier because he repeats a lot of the same material over and over and over again doesn't really have anything new and he's mostly focused on NMN and NR, but it just seemed like these other guys like Brad Stanfield and Peter Atia and Andrew Huberman have a better grasp on longevity than him. He's more of a researcher, so we kind of just have to wait and see what he comes up with. But currently, I wouldn't put him above those guys or anywhere near them. I think he's a few tiers below them. Now, the last guy I'm gonna go over is Healthy Gamer GG. This guy is a psychiatrist. He kind of goes over a lot of mental health issues. He goes over them a lot. It's more of a podcast slash stream type. I've enjoyed listening to it for the most part. I just can't continuously listen to it over and over again because I just don't really vibe with how he's talking or what he's saying, but but the things he is saying are very beneficial. So let's first of all, resize him. He is massive. And I think we'll put him at the A tier because you know, again, what he's saying is very, very beneficial. It's just kind of similar to the Matt Walker, who's a more of a sleep person. This guy's an actual physician, he's a psychiatrist, but his thing is mostly based off of mental health. If you want to go for mental health, this guy's probably the guy to go to. I don't really know anyone else that's as beneficial as him or has better information than him for mental health things. So this is my list. Read him and weep. I mean, the main guys you want to listen to is Jeff Nippert for working out, Gil for nutrition, Peter Atia for longevity, and Andrew Huberman for just overall basic health and wellness. Everyone else is kind of a tier below and you kind of pick and choose why and when you would listen to them. And I've given my reasons for all of them individually so you can kind of go back and see who's for what. Please comment below on people that I did not mention. I'll kind of check them out and we'll add them in the next one. Also tell me which ones you agree with or don't agree with and we can have a nice little discussion. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.